Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. <clears throat> she saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. <laughs> Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. For Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? And there was I can hear the class the laughing at me now. Air, but a beauty in the struggle. I you do love my analog camera. Which I should take a quick picture now. Photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well. We've all seen that iconic My little shot camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th... If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Century poet. You dig? I haven't kept up with my journal now, as much as I should. Contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. I should like take a Tom picture Joe, to prove I'm he still here. Plus, it's perfect for me. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie expression. I do love my analog <laughs> so, camera. I, know. I should take a quick so picture now. Wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Or even... I can hear the class laughing. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. 
You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Chinese because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. American girls, I'd like to Be part of the world around you Driving a car by the seaside it looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Tell where your heart is American girls like dollies With shiny I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first I wish I had Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. My own place, wondering why she cries sometimes, talking about her own place, somewhere around the mountains, no one could try her. 